Have you ever questioned the materialistic view of the world we live in? These are the kind of questions that Rupert Sheldrake, the author of The Science Delusion, poses to us. In his compelling book, Sheldrake challenges the current scientific worldview that is deeply rooted in mechanistic materialism. He urges us to look beyond the conventional and to question what we've been told to accept as the absolute truth. Mechanistic materialism is a notion that dates back to the 17th century, an era vastly different from ours. Yet it continues to shape our understanding of the world. It treats matter as dead, inert, devoid of life, and incapable of producing it. This perspective suggests that our own experiences, the very source of all our thoughts, are nothing more than illusions. This is a rather bleak and limiting view of reality, don't you think? The problem with mechanistic materialism is that it's outdated and muddled. It might serve its purpose for everyday scientific use, but when it comes to broader topics like consciousness or the origin of life, it falls short. It's like trying to navigate a modern city with a centuries-old map. The landmarks have changed, the routes have evolved, but we're still stuck with an old, irrelevant guide. In The Science Delusion, Sheldrake argues that this view of reality is not just scientifically inadequate, but also destructive. It blinds us to the many kinds of things there are in the world and the continuity of evolution. It prevents us from understanding human beings and other animals as active wholes, reducing us to mere consignments of chemicals. Sheldrake's book is a clarion call for a new mind-body paradigm, a map that acknowledges the dynamic nature of matter and the reality of our experiences. It's a call to shift from a static, materialistic view of reality to a more dynamic, holistic one. It's a call to challenge the assumptions that have become fashionable habits, to question the authority that dictates theories and vetoes inquiries. We are on the verge of a paradigm shift, one that calls for a more dynamic, holistic view of reality. Consider this, is our experience of reality just an illusion? We're talking about the problem with materialism, a view that has dominated scientific thinking for centuries. Materialism treats matter as if it's inert, lifeless, incapable of producing life. It's like looking at a vibrant, bustling city and only seeing concrete, steel and glass, ignoring the life and energy that pulses within. This worldview is not only outdated, it's muddled. It's a remnant of 17th century thinking when we knew less about the world and the universe we inhabit. But clinging to this view has serious implications, especially when we try to tackle mind-body topics like consciousness and the origins of life. If we insist that matter is dead, inert stuff, then what does that make us? Are we too just lifeless matter, our thoughts and experiences mere illusions? And yet, our own experience tells us this isn't true. We feel, we think, we create. We experience joy, sorrow, love, and a myriad of other emotions. We ask questions, seek answers, strive to understand the world around us. If we are mere collections of lifeless matter, how do we account for these experiences? How do we explain the richness and complexity of human existence? Materialism, in its current form, is like a pair of outdated glasses. It distorts our view of reality, limits our understanding, prevents us from seeing the full picture. It's like trying to understand the beauty and complexity of a rainbow while only acknowledging the color blue. The problem with materialism is that it fails to acknowledge the many kinds of things there are in the world and the continuity of evolution. It reduces us, and indeed all animals, to mere consignments of chemicals, ignoring the active wholes that we are. It's a restrictive, narrow lens that blinds us to the wonder and complexity of life. Materialism as it stands today is an outdated and restrictive lens through which to view our world. What if materialism isn't just a scientific principle but an ideology? A thought that has been echoing in the minds of many critical thinkers Materialism, the belief that only matter and physical phenomena are real, has solidified over time into a hardened belief system much like a dogmatic faith. This ideology of materialism has taken a seat at the highest echelon of scientific authority, where it dictates theories and inhibits inquiries that don't fit its narrative. It's as if materialism has become a bouncer at the door of scientific knowledge, deciding who gets in and who doesn't. Unorthodox medicine, alternative theories, even religion, all are scrutinized under the harsh light of materialistic ideology before they're allowed entry. This gatekeeping role of materialism has severe implications. 
It narrows our scope of understanding, limits our curiosity, and stifles intellectual growth. It's like trying to understand the vast expanse of the ocean while peering through the narrow lens of a telescope. You see only a fraction of what's out there, missing out on the grandeur and mystery of the unseen. Materialism's dictatorial role in shaping scientific thought and inquiry isn't just a philosophical concern. It's a roadblock to innovation, a hurdle to progress. It's like wearing blinkers and running in a race, oblivious to the potential paths that could lead to the finish line faster. But why has materialism assumed such an authoritarian position? Perhaps it's because it offers a sense of certainty, a concrete framework in a world that is inherently uncertain and complex. It simplifies the world into tangible, measurable entities, making it easier to understand and predict. However, this simplicity comes at a cost. It strips the world of its richness, its complexity, its dynamism. It turns a vibrant living world into a static, lifeless one. It makes us believe that we're nothing more than mere consignments of chemicals devoid of meaning or purpose. In essence, materialism has become a gatekeeper, barring us from exploring uncharted territories of knowledge and understanding. It's high time we challenge this gatekeeper, question its authority, and venture into the unexplored realms of reality. After all, isn't that what science is all about? Did you know that the static view of materialism is alien to modern physics? Here is a fascinating paradox. Materialism, with its rigid, unchanging stance, collides head-on with the dynamic, ever-evolving nature of modern physics. We're living in a world where our understanding of matter has dramatically shifted from the 17th century concept of inert, lifeless stuff. In the realm of modern physics, matter is anything but static. It's vibrant. It's energetic. It's constantly changing. Consider the quantum field theory, one of the most successful theories in the realm of physics. It tells us that even what we perceive as empty space is teeming with transient particles and antiparticles, popping in and out of existence. This is a far cry from the materialistic view of an unchanging mechanistic universe. Or take the theory of relativity, which transformed our understanding of gravity. Instead of seeing it as a force, Einstein proposed that massive objects curve spacetime around them, and what we perceive as gravity is just objects following the curves of this warped spacetime. This dynamic, interactive view of the universe is in stark contrast to a static, materialistic perspective. Even the particles that make up matter are in a state of constant flux. Electrons, for instance, don't have fixed orbits around the nucleus of an atom. Instead, they exist in a cloud-like state, their exact position and momentum uncertain until measured, thanks to the principles of quantum mechanics. This paints a picture of an active, unpredictable and incredibly dynamic universe. The static view of materialism is an outdated relic a vestige of an era when our understanding of the universe was limited. Today, as we delve deeper into the mysteries of the cosmos, it becomes increasingly clear that the universe is not a machine, but a symphony. A symphony of interacting fields and particles, of space and time, of energy and matter. The reality of modern physics paints a very different picture from the monochrome canvas of materialism. It's a picture that's vibrant, multidimensional, and infinitely fascinating. It's a picture that's alive. What if our faith in science is misplaced? Picture this. Science, not as the rigid, all-knowing entity we've been conditioned to perceive, but rather as a dynamic, ever-changing workshop. This idea forms the crux of the science delusion, a notion that Rupert Sheldrake challenges with vigor in his writings. As we delve into this concept, we need to grasp the assumptions that have been cemented into our collective psyche. Modern day society exalts science, not as a field that's constantly evolving, but as an infallible oracle spouting a crude form of materialism. This mindset, however, is a stark departure from the true essence of scientific inquiry, a pursuit that thrives on curiosity, exploration, and most importantly, the willingness to accept that we may not have all the answers. This blind faith in science has led to a form of intellectual arrogance. We've become so convinced of our scientific understanding that we're quick to dismiss anything that doesn't fit into our neatly defined boxes. Unorthodox medicine, alternative theories of consciousness, even the origins of life. All these topics are often sidelined, deemed unworthy of serious consideration because they challenge the status quo. Yet it's important to remember that science in its purest form is not about stubbornly clinging to established theories. 
It's about fostering a spirit of open-minded inquiry. It's about acknowledging the mysteries that still exist, despite our best efforts to unravel them. This is where the science delusion becomes detrimental. It stifles the very essence of scientific exploration. It hinders our ability to ask the big questions, the ones that don't have easy answers. And it fosters a culture where scientific dogma trumps intellectual curiosity. So what's the way forward? The answer lies in reimagining our relationship with science. We need to see it not as an unerring oracle, but as an ever evolving body of knowledge. We need to embrace uncertainty, foster intellectual humility, and cultivate a genuine spirit of inquiry. It's time we re-evaluated our understanding of science, not as an infallible oracle, but as a continually evolving workshop of knowledge. What if we could view the world through a different lens? This is precisely the question that Rupert Sheldrake poses in his book, The Science Delusion. Sheldrake proposes a new paradigm, a new way of understanding reality that challenges our traditional materialistic views. In this fresh perspective, Sheldrake encourages us to consider natural regularities as habits rather than as unchanging laws. This subtle shift in understanding allows us to perceive the world as a dynamic, evolving entity rather than a static, unchanging one. It's a view that accommodates our evolving understanding of physics, where matter is no longer seen as inert, but as vibrant and energetic. Sheldrake's paradigm also calls for a more holistic view of reality. It acknowledges the complex interplay of elements that make up our universe, rather than reducing everything to mere chemical reactions. It sees humans and other animals, not as meaningless consignments of chemicals, but as active, holistic beings. This renewed perspective urges us to acknowledge the continuity of evolution, the interconnectedness of all things, and the many different elements that contribute to the makeup of our world. It's an approach that doesn't just respect, but also honors the complexity and the richness of life. However, this new paradigm is not meant to replace our current understanding, but to enhance it. It's an additional lens through which we can view and understand the world. It's like adding another color to our palette, allowing us to paint a more vibrant, more accurate picture of reality. Sheldrake's paradigm is a bold step towards a more comprehensive understanding of the universe. It's a challenge to the rigidity of traditional scientific thought, a call for openness, curiosity, and a willingness to explore uncharted territories of knowledge. Remember, paradigms don't change overnight. They evolve over time, pushed forward by the relentless pursuit of knowledge and understanding. And in this journey of discovery, we must be open to new perspectives, new ideas, and new ways of understanding the world around us. A new paradigm awaits, one that values the dynamic, interconnected nature of reality over the static, isolated view of materialism. Have we been programmed to believe in materialism? This question posed by Rupert Sheldrake invites us to reflect on the assumptions we've made about the world, our existence, and the nature of reality itself. Throughout this discussion, we've navigated the limitations of materialism, a worldview that has dominated science and philosophy for centuries, yet is increasingly at odds with our evolving understanding of the universe. Materialism, as we've explored, treats matter as an inert substance devoid of consciousness or life. This perspective has served us well in many scientific endeavors, but it falls short when attempting to explain phenomena such as consciousness, the origins of life, and even our own personal experiences. The notion that our thoughts, emotions, and experiences are mere illusions produced by a mechanistic brain can feel deeply unsatisfactory and incomplete. Sheldrake argues that materialism has hardened into an ideology, dictating the boundaries of scientific inquiry and dismissing topics that don't align with its assumptions. This static view of materialism is at odds with the dynamic nature of matter as understood by modern physics. It's a paradox that calls for a fresh perspective, a new paradigm that acknowledges the complexity and dynamism of the world. In his book, The Science Delusion, Sheldrake challenges the prevailing confidence in these fixed assumptions. He illustrates how the exaltation of science has morphed into an infallible oracle preaching a rigid materialism rather than a constantly evolving workshop of ideas and discoveries. This science delusion, as he aptly terms it, has become a hindrance to our understanding of the world. But identifying the problem is only the first step. Replacing it requires a new set of assumptions, a different perspective. 
This is where Sheldrake's proposal comes in. He suggests thinking of natural regularities as habits rather than laws, an analogy intended to correct what he sees as an overemphasis on regularity in current science. This perspective opens up new avenues for understanding the world, encouraging us to see familiar patterns not as fixed laws, but as dynamic habits shaped by an ever-evolving universe. In essence, Sheldrake invites us to see the world not as a machine composed of inert matter, but as a dynamic, interconnected web of habits, processes, and relationships. This shift in perspective may sound radical, even unsettling, but it offers a promising alternative to the limitations of materialistic thought. It's time to question our beliefs, step beyond the confines of materialism, and embrace a more dynamic, interconnected understanding of the world we live in. After all, the pursuit of knowledge is not about clinging to fixed assumptions, but about daring to question, to explore, and to continually redefine our understanding of the universe.